Joining us now uh, is the lone vote against Bernanke in his first confirmation, Senator Jim Bunning of Kentucky, a member of the Senate uh, Banking Committee. Uh, we should note that we extended interview requests to all the Democrats on the Banking Committee uh, and none were available. I guess I'll start off, uh, Senator. Uh, did you ever think that you and, uh, and Bernie Sanders would kind of be soulmates on, uh, uh, on, uh, on an issue? Of any kind? Uh, we've, we've found ourselves on the same side of more than one issue. This happens to be one that we are on the same side. But there's going to be many others that will join us this time. Uh, but not, probably not over 39, right? Well, I, I don't know the answer to that right now. I'm going to be uh, looking with very strong interest at the questioning uh, today of uh, the chairman uh, at the Senate Banking Committee hearing. Well, we, you give uh, Chairman Bernanke an F minus in terms of his job performance. I'm just trying to figure out um, what grade you would have given him if, if the economy were, were much worse off, if the banking system had, had collapsed. Um, there's no grade for that below F minus, is there? I mean, it, 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 that seems like a little bit, um, you're not Arsh grading on a curve. Yeah, a little bit harsh. Uh, a little bit harsh. No, there's no curve in being the head of uh, the Federal Reserve. You either do the job or you don't do the job. And when you don't Where did he do, fail? When you don't do the job, you fail. Yeah, and how did he fail? Okay, so explain, uh, explain your thinking there. Well, the failure is the fact that uh, now the United States of America has become the France of 25 years ago. And we have federal intervention into our banking system, into our insurance companies, into our auto industry, uh, a massive influx probably trying to be done with our one-sixth of the economy, and that is our health care system. And these are things that uh, Ben Bernanke and uh, Timmy Geithner are right at the heart of. Yeah, I, I was wondering how you're going to tie um, uh, Chairman Bernanke to, to health care. I mean, he was, he was President Bush's nominee. I know you, you voted against him at the time, um, but it sounds like a, your vote is almost a protest against government I intervention in, in, in the bailout. It's, it doesn't seem as specific to Bernanke as, uh, as, oh as my we saw. Uh, the reason I voted against Bernanke the first time is here's a gentleman who was the head of the Princeton Academic economics uh, department who had no experience in the uh, real world except four years of being on the Federal Open Market Committee prior to being nominated by George W. Bush for the chairmanship of the, of the Federal Reserve. No practical experience. At least Greenspan had some experience even though he did mess up more than once by creating these bubbles with his loose money policies that Chairman Bernanke has followed to the nth degree. You know, you know Senator, I, I read your most recent uh, press release that you put out talking about how you're going to vote against him because of a lack of independence. He had the opportunity, I guess, to, to show you that he was independent from Greenspan by, uh, by voting against Greenspan on some issues, but it didn't lay out what you thought he should have voted well, against no, Greenspan uh, on. I, I, you're not suggesting independence for the sake of being different. No, and unfortunately, uh, the, the TARP bill will give you an idea of what I mean. It was brought to us by uh, then uh, Secretary Paulson, and uh, obviously Tim Geithner was involved as the head of the New York Fed. And, but Ben Bernanke was the guy who wrote into the bill that you could use the money for other purposes. Other purposes other than what the bill was sold to the American people and to the Congress. We were supposed to remove the toxic securities from the banking system, not bail out Wall Street, not bail out the banking system, not use the money for all the purposes for which it was used. It was a missale, is what I call it. Hmm. Um, 
Senator, if, if, I guess we can never go back in time and see what would have happened if, if we didn't. Um, oh, we can always think say, about what, ha what could what, have what, happened. What, 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 is there a worst case scenario, or are you pretty sure that, that well, let's the commercial go back paper market we wouldn't have locked up? We, w we wouldn't have gone into a, a, a complete global financial well, meltdown. There's that's the way it was sold to the American people right. and to the Congress. If you don't do this bailout, we're going to go fall into the Great Depression. Now that, that's a scare tactic that I didn't buy, and unfortunately, most of the Congress bought it. Now they're resenting it because of the way it was used. It was supposed to be done for one purpose, and one purpose only, and now it's been used, and now Mr. Geithner is about to renew it for another year. So he's going to have a $700 billion slush fund over at Treasury to do whatever he wants with it for another full year. I don't think that's right. Uh, the, the, the American people, the regular people out in the public, my constituents, 4.2 million of them, everyday people that go to work and work like heck to pay their bills are not benefiting from what Tim Geithner and particularly Ben Bernanke have done to the U.S. economy. Senator, we, uh, we appreciate your time uh, this morning. You were close by. You could have stopped in here. Uh, uh, we're, we're over in the cash room of the Treasury. Isn't that a great, it's a great well, name I've for been, the room I've here. been to the Treasury. It's the one of the most beautiful, ornate inside yeah. of the buildings that I've ever been to. I wanted a segue uh, trying to walk around here. There's, uh, there's a lot of people in Washington have offices. Anyway, thank you, uh, Senator. We, we appreciate your time this morning. Glad to do it.